Saturday night is party night in the capital, the capital of booze. When the pubbers and clubbers pour out onto the streets of London, there's a hidden danger in the food they may eat. Some street vendors are licensed and are subject to strict health and safety legislation, but many are not. Selling hot dogs illegally doesn't matter? Yes, it does. The man in charge of stopping the dodgy dealers is Westminster Inspector Mitch Matthews Dublin. Our offices are situated just over Leicester Square. I can tell that we've got a, one or two spotters outside our building. Um, these are characters that work along with illegal street traders and they come to watch us preparing so they, they can see how many officers are on duty. So that means that we're going to have a lot of hot dogs trolleys out there tonight and uh, it looks like there's going to be a lot of fun and games. Mitch is about to engage in an extraordinary game of cat and mouse. Some road rickshaw drivers are involved. They're used as spotters, helping Mr. Hot Dog to stay one step ahead of Mitch and his team. In Piccadilly, Mitch spots the spotters spotting him. There you go. What they're doing now is they're actually blending into the crowd now. The one down there on the guy on the phone, he's known to us as a, um, an illegal street trader. But that's the game. It means the mice have come out to play and Mitch knows where to look. Westminster being a very old part of Britain, of the UK, and this has been a, having a medieval layout, actually. If we sneak around here, you'll find we've got a hot dog trolley. Come and take a look at this. Is, it, is this your trolley? It's not my trolley, it's my friend's trolley, uh, So is this your trolley? It's not my trolley, it's my friend's trolley. Okay, and who's your friend? Mr. Hot Dog doesn't work on his own. Is he? The trolleys are all put onto the street from a single van. November 2 to all city inspectors. Can you come down to Apple Tree Yard? The trolley will have to be removed. The culprit won't only lose it. Jesus Christ! He may have to pay his boss £50 in compensation. Are you sure, Where are you going? I'm going, it's not mine, isn't it? When Mitch takes over a trolley, he makes it safe. It's got a gas canister inside it. And as you can see, you can see exactly what's going on here. Boxes of half-cooked sausages. It looks horrible, and it is horrible. Loads of um, bacteria growing on this. You can imagine anything that's been sitting around for hours, um, any meat item, it's going to have bacteria. You're going to have uh, issues like Staphylococcus, um, salmonella, salmonella, all sorts of bacteria. It's filth, it's disgusting, and people are paying good money for this. Another reason why we have to be concerned, they use these knives to cut the onions up, yeah? But they also use these knives as weapons to protect themselves, their money and their trolleys. The cat has already caught a mouse, and there are still hours to go. In London, Mitch is back on the trail of Mr. Hot Dog. It's a big business with some big characters. As long as they're not trading, if they're focused on us, they're not trading, brilliant. And he's known to us. Hello, Hello, Mr. how are you? All right. How are you doing? I'm not doing nothing, nothing, man. He's not doing anything. Are you going to be trading tonight? No, I'm not working, man. I'm You're not working, I'm yeah? I'm not working. It's yeah? Very hot. But you're just partying tonight, are you? Yeah, I didn't work last night, I didn't work tonight. You know? But you're going to work, you didn't work last night, that's right, and yeah. you're not going to work tonight, are you? Yeah, I'm not working tonight. OK, so. maybe you might want to tell some of your friends not to work as well. Yeah, no, we've got four teams tonight, I guess what? Four teams, is it? Ah, uh, three now though, eh? Yeah. This is the cat and uh, mouse game that we play. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. Doesn't see any issue with his activities here. You're waiting for New Year's evening. So you're waiting know. for New Year's evening. Yeah. Not in Westminster, you're not. Which channel that? You know you can't get one over on us. Uh, yeah. We're watching I you know, all the time. You're watching. Everybody watching, following that. That's it. Man. Take care. We'll see you later on. He's uh, lost a lot of face right now. 
but this isn't the moment for a chat. Mitch has received a call from one of his inspectors who's found another unlicensed food trolley. Yeah, we've got another one already, so excellent. Take me. Just take the slot. Step away. Yeah. Just get away from the van. Step away from the van. I'm telling you, boys. Come on, boys. Move away. The trouble is, they do not have work permits and they're getting desperate. Yeah, I was trying to make money. What job? Yeah, give me the paper to work. Give me the paper to work. Oh, yeah, I'm not allowed to work. Go Give go me the paper to work. Yeah, I'm not allowed to work Respect. in this country. Give me the, the reason why you're not allowed to work. The men come mostly from Turkey, and many of them are illegal immigrants. We've got these aggressive little characters, yeah? But we're going to grind them down slowly, but surely. They shouldn't be operating on the street like this. They are extremely desperate. They are being exploited, but desperate people take desperate measures. Back in London, Covent Garden, it's 3 a.m. and Mitch is on the scent of more dangerous hot dogs. I, one of the spotters is in the piazza, so we don't think he's far away, but Camden is only a matter of metres, so for them to get over to Camden is um, an easy, uh, easy feat, and we have no jurisdiction inside Camden. As Mitch and his team move in, spotters tip off the hot dog trader who makes a run for it, abandoning his trolley. Okay, I need a vehicle November 7th. That's Kasim Sen again. On Muscle Street. I believe that he, his spotters might have seen us. He decided to hide and we decided to flush him out. It's been damp and dismal, but Mitch feels triumphant. We've taken three trolleys already. This is absolutely fantastic from our point of view. There's nothing better than seeing the people that are coming to Westminster enjoying themselves and going home safely and seeing the society you live in clean and tidy.